You can change where Revit looks to find its default project template files, user files, family template files, and point clouds. While Revit assigns default locations for the various files when you first install the program, you may want to change these locations. For example, if everyone in your office accesses these files from a common network location, then you would want to save them there. And if that is the case, be sure to check with your BIM manager for your company's procedures regarding template files. You control the file location settings from the Options dialog. Expand the Application menu and click Options. Then, in the Options dialog, switch to the File Locations options. Here, you can control the project template files and the default path for user files, family template files, and point clouds. For project template files, you control the name and path for the project template files that you use frequently to begin a new project. So instead of specifying a folder location, you set the actual project template files that will be available when creating a new project. As you can see at the top of the pane, the first five project templates will appear as links on the Recent Files page. However, all of the project template files specified are also available in a drop-down in the New Project dialog. Revit automatically sets some of these when you first install the program, but you can change them. You can also add additional project templates. Simply click Add Value to add another template, or select an existing template and click Remove Value to delete that template. With multiple templates specified, you can use Move Rows Up and Move Rows Down to control the order. Click Add Value. When you do, Revit displays the Browse for Template File dialog. You can navigate to the default Revit Project Templates location or to the location where you have custom project template files. Then you can select the template file and click Open to add it to the list. The default path for user files specifies the default path where Revit opens or saves files. The default location is the Documents folder. When you specify a folder, Revit opens that folder by default when you save or open a file. This can be a network location. Setting this path can be particularly useful when creating local files for a WorkShared project. To change the location, simply click Browse, navigate to the folder location, select the folder, and then click Open. The default path for family template files is where Revit looks for family templates when you create a new family. Again, Revit automatically sets this path when you first install the program, but you can change it. For example, if you need to use either Imperial or Metric families for your project, you can set that library location here. The root path for point clouds lets you specify the location where Revit looks to find point clouds. Again, Revit automatically sets this when you first install the program but you can change it here as needed. When you attach a point cloud, the saved path information for point cloud files in the Manage Links dialog is relative to this root path location. If you change this root path, you may need to reload any point cloud files that are already linked in Revit projects. To improve performance and reduce network traffic, each user should keep a local copy of any attached point cloud files. As long as the relative path to the local copies of the point cloud files is the same for each user, the link will remain valid when you synchronize with Central. In some cases, it may be easiest to simply store point cloud files in the point cloud root directory. Once again, to change one of these locations, click Browse, 
navigate to the folder location, select the folder, and then click Open. When you click Places, Revit displays the Places dialog. You can add folders and libraries here in order for them to display in the Places list. The Places list displays in the left pane of most dialogs that list files. For example, both the Open and Save dialogs have the Places list. By default, the component library and detail library locations are specified here. You can add your custom library locations here as well, and they can be network locations. For example, click Add Value, and Revit immediately adds a new library. Click in the Library Name field and change the name to Metric Library. Then, click in the Library Path field and click the More button to open the Browse for Folder dialog. Navigate to the folder containing Revit's metric library. Note that this could be different on your system. Select that folder and then click Open. When you do, the path is added to the Places dialog and will appear in the Places list. You can use the other tools to change the order of the list and add or remove other libraries. Click OK to close the Places dialog, and click OK again to close the Options dialog. Now when you click Open, the Places list appears in the left pane of the Open dialog. You can see links that automatically take you to the folder containing the Component Library, the Detail Component Library, and the new Metric Library that you added to Revit's Places list.